<laughs> yeah, I arrive a long hair in Liverpool, which it doesn't doesn't suit much. <laughs> no, let's say. Uh, um, so it was really hard football-wise as well. The, the difference between the Premier League and the Brazilian league, you know, physically, uh, it was a lot of things, you know, that uh, made uh, really hard at the beginning. I would say. What were you, what were you doing then? So you were were you, were you living alone at, at at twenty, or did the club put you up? Or uh, no, I was. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, when I arrived in Liverpool, I, of course, I came with my my girlfriend. Now it's my wife, mm. but she was my girlfriend at that moment. And then I was in an apartment in close in Wooton, and then of course I started to to learn things and adapt. And uh, of course I left Brazil in a very strong position. You know I played a, a fantastic. I had a fantastic year. I played for the national team a few games, and I arrived in England. People knew very little about me. You know, and so it was very frustrating. Yeah. I, re I remember when. Rafa came to me and said, ah, you're going to play for the reserves uh, against Middlesbrough, uh, away. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, you know, but today I look back and I understand that was, it was important for yeah, me yeah. To, to go through that, you know, and, 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 and adapt. So that's Did it. you dominate that game? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. But uh, so the little thing that I think it helped me a lot to to become the man I am today, also the player as well. Well, you obviously mentioned Rafa, and I, you know we. It's funny if it's literally ten, not ten years, it's six or seven years, I think, to the day we, we interviewed Rafa Benitez, and I remember we we asked him about you, and he spoke in very very glowing terms. He's always been a big a big fan of yours, and I think he felt the frustration. Um, that you weren't in a wrestling terms like getting over with the, the fans or whatever you know mm. you you weren't fully accepted and what have you but Rafa seemed to be your biggest supporter yeah to be honest I still think I already left but I still think people a lot of people still question you know my qualities or abilities or so of course you get older you understand and you, you know that you, you cannot uh, convince everyone yeah you just have to do your job and and then sometimes it works sometimes it won't work and you have to deal with the the frustration of other people yeah so it's important lesson that chris i think i can't deal with the frustration uh, of other people. you know <laughs> how, did it, how did it affect you did it affect you mentally did a you, lot yeah. i think that's why i think it took a, a bit longer for me to adapt yeah. you know of course now i'm 30 and i got i arrived here and it, it, everything is easier you know but in that moment, probably was the first time I had a, a difficult time in football. Mm. You know, before in Brazil it was all good. You know, people talking really high. I never had a, not never, but not many bad games. Yeah. You know, things like this. So I arrived in Liverpool very young. Uh, physically, I, I, I struggled a lot. So so Rafa understood that and and he was very patient i think uh, that's why i'm i, I will always be very grateful because probably if uh, is another manager mm -hmm. you try a little bit and then if it doesn't work a club like liverpool they just uh, put oh, you enough. on the side and buy another one and yeah. you know but rafa i think he he could see that i i was working and i was trying yeah you know and and then of course it started to work a little bit more changing and 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 then uh, slowly I, I let's say I turn things around yeah not for everyone like I said but um, I think I left Liverpool the way I wanted you know yeah. if people really if you if you ask anyone now about me in Liverpool I think most of the people will will say good things I think yeah it's true you know, you say yeah. you're so, but it's interesting because I think there's a there's a moment in your career quite early on um, well actually there's, there's one very early on which is the I think it's your first goal when you, uh, against yeah. having to water yeah. the bill and we thought 
who's this lad we've got here? Look at these goals he's going to score. <laughs> never quite, never quite worked, worked out that way. Today I scored four goals in training, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I scored a lot in training, <laughs> yeah, but uh, I good. just don't get too close to the goal now. <laughs> but I'll try. But, but yeah, but then you've got that, you've got that. But I think there's the Merseyside derby and you come mm. on for Stevie. Yeah. And I, 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 I'll admit, even at the time, everyone was going, like, what's Raf? What's Rafa doing? Why? Ah, yeah. Why do you take Stevie too, off? In this? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was a. But that was a big. Yeah. That, that was a big. I, I, that's a decision he's made there. I think that's a big. A lot of trust that he put in you in that situation. Yeah. And is it Phil Neville who um, yeah, denies yeah, you what could have been a, mo- a make or break moment almost yeah. in your, your career? Have you ever spoken to Phil Phil Neville about that? No, never. No, I never <laughs> met him after that. Just in derby, so no, never spoke. But yeah, yeah. If that ball went in. Probably would be a little bit easier for me at the start. <laughs> but yeah, that moment I used to, Rafa used to give me a more advanced role. Mm-hmm. And I remember some cup games, uh, I played with Stevie and, and he spoke with Stevie, you know, and said, Stevie, stay a little bit and let him, you know, cup game and let him go forward and try, you Out know. Of that way. And then I. S- yeah, I scored one goal. I remember a header. Uh, the, I scored this goal, yeah. but of course, uh, I, especially in big games when I was involved, I felt that uh, physically I couldn't, I couldn't cope with the the speed, you know, to get in the box and come back. So Rafa started to play me a little bit deep. And that's why I ended up, you know, changing my role a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's it's interesting because again there's, there's these big moments that stand out for me and I think the, the Everton was one, you got one a few a few seasons later 2008-2009 Old Trafford mm. um, Zabi Alonso was injured and you, you come into that game and it, it, I mean obviously the standout performers in that are Fernando Torres course, and yeah. Aurelio etc but what a what a what a game what a performance I think that was probably the first time that under Rafa Everyone went, wow, okay, we un- that's what we've been building towards. It was a, f- a, what a, what a game to be involved in. Yeah, um, it, it was a, a fantastic game, fantastic. And uh, now I left, I can say, I remember Redknapp uh, praising Alonso in that game, but I, I was Not playing yet. that game. <laughs> so, um, 